how do you do buckaroos how the heck are it's time to be a whisper i am back man did you miss me so uh, i'm still at at the whole foods market they've got the ice bar area here and so i uh, decided to have another one that i hadn't had before um it is from flyaway brewing out of little rock arkansas it's a migrate pale ale 5.1 percent 30 ibus uh, everything they've got on here is five dollars for for a pint, so you know not crazy expensive, not not cheap, and not you know not any more than anybody else for sure. The growler fills they do an eight dollar for a thirty two ounce and thirteen for sixty four ounce. This pours a very deep golden, as you can see. Well, to me, I'm somewhat colorblind. Interesting nose. Getting like, like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a mixed fruit kind of nose. You ever have that mixed fruit jelly when you go to like a Cracker Barrel or someplace? That's what it reminds me of, man. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what I'm getting. Gosh, I'm getting the same thing on that flavor. Yeah, it's easy ever go to a, to a coffee house and get that mixed fruit jelly. That's what it tastes like, man. I shit you not. <laughs> uh, in the middle, anyway. Cleans up and dries up a little bit at the end. It's interesting. I'm really not sure how much I like it at this point, so I'm going to drink a little more and let it warm up. But if I come up with anything new, I'll be back. I had to warm up a little bit, drink a little. I was, I was getting some odd flavors early on. Not necessarily bad odd, but it was perplexing me a little bit. But now I'm going to let it warm up a little bit. I'm getting more specific citrus. I am getting some tangerine. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm also getting some, some pineapple-like notes in there as well now. near the end. Uh, the finish on it is nice though. It's a very, very dry finish. The finish is very dry, very clean. So there you go. That's all I got. Huh? <laughs> That's it, man. I have to be a We'll talk to you later.